All right, what's up everybody? So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys an absolutely legendary compressor. Well, a clone of an absolutely legendary compressor. I've had this now for a little bit of time, so I've gotten to kind of play around with it and process my thoughts on this unit and see how I really feel about it. So in this video, I'm gonna be demoing this unit and then just kind of sharing my thoughts and opinions on the overall hardware and how I feel about this compressor. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. So yes, as you've probably already read from the title of this video, the compressor that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is the LA-2A style clone by the company Clark Technic. Like I had said, I have had this compressor for a few months now, so I've had it for enough time to really test it out in a music setting and also for a video setting, believe it or not. Nine times out of ten, I process the audio for these videos using this LA-2A clone. And I can tell you right now that every expectation that I have had for this unit, it has held up to it. The thing about this LA-2A compressor is that it can really handle a lot of different applications. I mean, we're talking anything from tracking drums to vocals to guitars, um, other instruments that you can think of. I mean, really, this thing has a wide, wide range of applications that you can put it through. Most of the time, I'm going to be using this thing on vocals, and half you guys out here watching this are probably going to be using this exact same unit unit on your vocals as well and I can tell you right now that is where it shines in my opinion that LA-2A clone is so so beautiful on vocals guys I'm telling you right now this thing makes an absolute difference in my overall quality that I end up getting. Um, so actually right now I am processing all the uh, audio for this video using the LA-2A compressor. That is the compressor that I am using for this video. And not only obviously are you gonna get a very smooth compression out of this thing, it also adds this bit of tube saturation through it as well because there is tubes inside the unit. And I've said this so many times on my channel that you really can't replicate that with a plugin. It is very, very difficult to do that. There's some that do a pretty good job, but you know, at the end of the day, there's nothing like physical hardware. It is always gonna provide this, this tone, this, this, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, this quality that you get from the from the tubes inside your unit that you just cannot replicate in a plugin. So even if you plan on using very light compression with the KT2A, you're still gonna be passing through the tubes inside the unit. So you're gonna get this very warm uh, tube saturated tone that is really in the end going to add, especially to vocals. I'm telling you right now, it absolutely shines on vocals. Like I said, nine times out of 10 for these videos, I always run the audio through the KT2A just because I love the way that it sounds passing through it. And sometimes that's even if I don't even plan on using compression with the device. I still am just a fan of the way that this this uh, this compressor sounds. Clark Technic did a really good job with this clone and it's actually starting to become my favorite compressor. I know I've said this before that the KT76 was my favorite compressor ever just because of the versatility of of it but I'm really starting to fall in love with this LA-2A style compressor you know I'm a huge fan of very subtle compression and I feel like subtlety goes the longest way but really even if you weren't doing any compressing whatsoever uh, with the unit you just get this tone out of it that is very hard to replicate with a plugin. And, you know, I think for all of us smaller studio people out here, it gives us an opportunity at getting a very close LA-2A style uh, compression without breaking the bank. And that's another thing that I wanted to point out why this thing is so amazing. You can catch these things for deals anywhere going from $249 to $300 is what I've seen. I actually bought mine for a little under $300, I believe, believe it or not so um I mean, it's it's hard to argue with the unit. It sounds amazing. And I know that if I didn't tell you guys, hey, I'm using the Clark Technic, I'm using the UAD plugin, most of you guys would have never questioned that. And you just, you get this tone out of it that again, it's very hard to replicate with a plugin. So the Waves plugins, the UAD plugins, I personally don't feel like they uh, give you the true LA-2A style compression and, and sound that you get out of an LA-2A. 
physical hardware will always do a better job at recreating that. And I personally think that the uh, that Clark Technic did a very good job at nailing this clone. Like I said, guys, I have been processing the audio for this video using the KT2A. So you guys are getting a little demonstration of just how amazing this thing sounds. I'm not doing a lot with the audio, just compression and a very tiny bit of EQ, but you can hear just how amazing this unit sounds. And 90% of the work that is being done with this audio is coming straight out of the KT2A. So I am a very, very big fan of this clone, and I know it's a piece of gear that I will probably keep in my studio forever until I can buy the real LA2A. So if you're like me, guys, you are running a smaller studio, and you just want an LA2A style compressor, uh, one that does a good job at recreating the original hardware, I would honestly tell you right now that the Clark Technic does a very solid job at recreating that. And I know that there's other companies out here that are uh, recreating the LA-2A as well. Uh, just those companies charge a very high very high price point for them still i've seen them going and selling for anywhere around seven eight hundred dollars and up this one this clark technic kt2a you can catch on occasion going for like i said 249 to 300 dollars. so a price that you really cannot uh argue with anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up thank you all for watching if you have any questions or really just anything to say go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below i always look forward to reading your guys's comments so thank you very much but until then guys take care and i will see you all in my next video so peace out everybody